Good morning, everyone from Pantheon Sales and Rental in our California location. I want to talk about the rollers here. These two rollers are mainly used for the true products. And I'm going to go over why you use this one and why you use the, the metal spike roller, okay? Number one, this product is used for the aggregates. So you want to use it for the um, true PC or the true SP, their salt and pepper. This uh, doesn't push the aggregate down. It's a very expensive roller, so make sure you clean it out at the end of the shift, and this will last a long, long time. But this is what you want to run for the true PC, like true PC or the true SP, that one there. That's what you're going to use this for, okay? Now, where you're going to use the spike rollers is when you get into the true gray, like this red bag here. This true gray is where you're going to run the spike roller, okay? This doesn't, this cause a light, because if anybody's ever poured the true gray that doesn't have the aggregate and they've used this roller or even this roller, you'll notice a lot of dimpling, a lot of marks. If you use the metal roller, you really don't get those, okay? So definitely want to use that metal roller for the, um, for the true gray or also um, uh, for the concrete leveler, okay? You want to use the metal spike roller all right so that'll if you've had those bump you know those just really like hole effects where you see the roller mark effects in the um the concrete leveler or the uh concrete gray you're you're using the wrong roller so just a helpful tip uh, on the true products with aggregate there you go without aggregate use this one pantheon sells a rental we're here to help give you great advice one other tip that I like, especially when I'm running with levelers, my opinion, go half inch. I know it's more product, but all your problems go away. If the floor is not perfectly level, you got some you know, ups and downs on it, you go a half inch. It, you can grind a little deeper, exposing consistent aggregate, and you don't have problems. Um, my, that's my personal opinion. Can you do it at three eighths? Absolutely. But the risk versus reward to me is not there. So just a helpful tip on uh, pouring any of the decorative uh, products, I typically go at half inch. That's what I recommend. And if, way, if you have issues here and there, you can work them out. If you go three eighths, you better have a perfect floor and a perfect pour. Um, if not, you can have problems and having problems on a decorative overlay is super, super expensive. Pantheon Sales and Rental, give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks.